Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining uh, for this uh, weekly demo. Uh, we set up those uh, demos every week uh, to make sure that all visitors can uh, have a glimpse uh, at Appaloosa without uh, necessarily um, uh, creating an account. So we are going to start uh, the presentation. Thanks for uh, thanks all for attending. Um, um, of course, you are free to ask any questions you might have. I will read out the questions uh, at the end of the call. This will take like 20 minutes or so. We will first start with a product presentation, um, a quick product overview, and then we will uh, jump to the demo. I will show you the uh, admin interface um, um, and show you around how, what you can do uh, with Appaloosa. So I'm Julian, I'm the CEO for the, for the company. We've uh, been in business for the past uh, uh, nine years uh, already, uh, providing uh, services for mobile application uh, management and mobile device management. So again, if you have any questions during the presentation, I will address those at the end of the session uh, in probably 15 to 20 minutes uh, and host a Q&A session. So, um, okay, let's uh, jump right in. So uh, first about um, Appaloosa, a little bit more about what we do. Um, we know that mobile has uh, changed when we work. Uh, you know, there are a lot of mobile devices out there now and you can pretty much do the, the work all the time, anytime. Uh, COVID has uh, quite changed uh, where we work from. You, everybody or the whole world was uh, impacted and uh, um, most of the world started working from home, uh, but we have yet to change uh, how we use mobile devices at work. Indeed, uh, the current EMM solutions that are on the market, EMM stands for Enterprise Mobility Management. Um, what they try to do is manage personal devices with uh, com complex software. And if you look at the reviews that users are posting uh, on those uh, uh, competitor solutions, they say it's really, really heavy on the phone. Uh, they end up uh, factory resetting the phone. The app is terrible. Uh, it, it, it makes the phone almost unusable. So it's, it's really a painful process. Um, we are trying to make things simple uh, with uh, the configuration, the deployment, and the management of work applications on mobile devices. So Appaloosa is, a, is an app store for iOS and Android. It allows you to uh, uh, push uh, private applications and public applications to your employees at the same place. Of course, there are a lot of use cases from uh, the mobile app beta testing uh, to mobile app management, where you're addressing bring your own device type of scenarios. And finally, mobile device management, where you have corporate devices that need to be secured and, and, and with apps that need to be installed too. What we do on personal devices is that we split uh, corporate and personal spaces to provide a secure and engaging experience. Um, so um, if you're familiar with uh, Android Enterprise, this is how things work. You have a personal space uh, on the phone and you also have a workspace uh, on the phone. This is, uh, those spaces are completely separated. They are on, uh, on a different partition. Um, they're on an encrypted partition and, and um, users can uh, have uh, um, uh, the version of the app that's personal and a version of the app that's professional. So you can have two Gmail, for instance, and the workspace never communicates with the, the personal space. So you, so you can't uh, copy paste text from work to personal, from personal to work. You cannot exchange data with a, within those spaces. Um, and they are all uh, on the same phone and it's completely seamless for the user in terms of experience. So it really is a secure and, and great experience where the corporate data rem remains on one side of the phone and personal data remains on the other one. On corporate devices, so that's a different scenario. We're not <clears throat> talking about a uh, personal phone here. We are talking about a corporate issued phone. So what we do is uh, simplify the configuration for network, for apps and security. We allow admins to um, 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 manage everything, every configuration of the phone from the Wi-Fi to the to the pin code. You can really deploy uh, custom configurations to the to 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 your to your phones. 
what we try to provide is a better uh, uh, experience for unmanaged devices. If you, you look at this board of uh, all the, the competitors out there, we are really good at managing up to 5,000 devices. Um, uh, we obviously have deployment scenarios where we have uh, 20 to 30 um, uh, thousand devices under one uh, customer, but we're really good at managing bring your own device type of scenarios for companies up to 5,000 devices. What we are trying also to complement here is to add extra features in the MDM space. Um, so with everything I just mentioned from um, app configuration to uh, device configuration, policies configuration, um, so if you need to um, uh, catch your name, it's really for bringing on device and uh, mobile device management for uh, 500 to 5,000 devices. Our business model is uh, really simple. Uh, it, it depends on, on the use case you're trying to address. On the left-hand side, you have deploy apps. It's really the simplest plan. Um, this is where you just need to deploy an application with no extra security, no auto updates, um, uh, no, um, no app wipe, no, no remote configuration of the device. So it's a simple, simple scenario for uh, companies starting to um, to be interested into uh, app deployment or um, um, development teams uh, um, willing to uh, push applications, push app updates or betas to uh, end users for feedback. Um, so the, the the monthly pricing is is um, it's always a monthly pricing and it depends on the number of users you will have. I'll show you an extended version of our pricing just at the end of the presentation. Uh, in the middle, we have uh, manage apps. So this is really when you don't need only to um, deploy the applications, but you also need to to manage those applications. And by managing applications, I mean configuring the applications, making sure that the, the app updates are pushed automatically and silently to users, making sure as well that if a user leaves the company, uh, the app gets uh, wiped uh, and the corporate data gets wiped from the remote device. So this is really uh, the, the managed apps scenario where you get the, 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 the extra features and the ex extra capabilities uh, within the plan. Um, Man and finally, manage apps and devices. This is the scenario where you need to um, uh, manage your applications for personal devices, on personal devices, but you also have a fleet of corporate-owned devices, in which case you need to secure the fleet and make sure that the whole uh, device is managed by Appalooza, being able to configure the device, being able to have a simple uh, enrollment. And, and of course, uh, those companies also require some a custom deployment options such as custom URLs, custom branding, etc. This is uh, the type of things we do on the on the third plan. So uh, depending on the use case, are you doing just simple deployment or beta test? This is going to be deploy apps. Are you addressing bring your own devices? So personal devices, this is the managed apps plan. And finally, are you addressing a variety of use cases? This is the third plan, the managed apps and, uh, and devices. So um, so this is um, this is a uh, uh, this is wraps up our presentation. It, it's not, not the demo. We're going to head to to the to the demo right now. But I mentioned that I wanted to share with you the the way our pricing uh, works. Uh, so let let me just share the screen here. Um, so the pricing is really simple. Everything that I've mentioned here uh, is is uh, is here on the pricing sheet. So deploy apps, manage apps, and manage apps and devices. And depending on your use case and depending on the users, you get the slider to define uh, the, the, the monthly pricing. Of, of course, we have uh, also uh, options such as unlimited apps or if you need single sign-on, uh, but you can, you can really uh, see for yourself depending on your, your scenario. Um, to be clear, uh, also we have a 14-day trial and I encourage you to uh, check it out because for uh, during 14 days, you can really have access to all the features <clears throat> the, uh, uh, um, regardless of the plan that I just mentioned. For 14 days, we open an account on uh, Appalooza. You can upload your apps, uh, invite users, let them enroll into the system and make sure that Appalooza fits your needs. Uh, you also uh, get an onboarding session with, our, with uh, one of our team members to make sure with, uh, the, 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 your environment is, is set up the right way uh, for you. 
So I will jo we'll jump uh, to the demo. Um, and of course, uh, if you have uh, any question about the presentation, there's um, um, some people don't notice it, but there's a Q&A button on Zoom you can use to uh, post your, 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 your questions and I'll answer in a, in a few minutes. So let's uh, jump in the um, demo. So I'll share my screen again, and this time on the uh, Appaloosa environment. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, as an admin, how you manage Appaloosa and what the administration interface uh, looks like. So this is the welcome screen. This is where you see all your applications um, on your store. But of course, if you want to manage multiple stores, uh, Appaloosa also uh, supports the multiple store options. You can manage as many store and add, add as many stores as you want. Each store is uh, containing a separate list of applications, separate list of users and separate list of groups. So this is a great scenario, a great feature if you're, for instance, uh, separating your uh, development environment from your production environment. In your development environment, you'll be able to push, uh, for instance, beta updates, alpha, or your continuous delivery um, and host it with Appaloosa with a specific group of people that are you know, doing Q&A uh, on the apps or, or beta testing on the apps. And you can really have your production environment with all the live uh, applications for your users out there. Um, so this is about stores. Uh, every store has, a, has an admin, has users, and has an owner. So there's even access rights management, and admins can control every aspect of the store. On the um, on the application um, applications uh, uh, page here, you, you you have the list of all the applications that are uh, added to your store, and of course you have. Uh, the, the private application uh, and the public applications as well. In Appaloosa, you can really group all type of applications under one roof. We support uh, uh, native applications on iOS and Android. So iOS sign with um, ad hoc or uh, in-house um, and even uh, Apple Business Manager. We, on Android, we support uh, APK files and AAB files. And you can also post recommended applications from the App Store and the Play Store. Uh, so we, in this case, we will link the application to the public uh, uh, public store. And you can also list uh, web applications that address any platform. So any uh, application can be transformed into an icon on the user's phone and is going to be distributed with Appaloosa in the same way. So uh, <clears throat> let me just um, try to add an application here. We're gonna. Uh, select one like Pulse Secure here. Uh, check this app here and add a recommended application from the Play Store. And so, obviously, on private applications, you just upload the binary. Uh, but on public applications, you just need to copy and paste uh, the the app's URL. Uh, oh, it already exists. So sorry, it's a good good way to test. Maybe Workspace One here. So we are fetching the information from the Google Play Store and you can uh, select this application and then you can customize the way the application will look like on your store. So you, you have the store page here, uh, pretty much like uh, if you would be admin on the Google Play Store, uh, define your description, select the category, um, uh, add or remove screenshots. And then when you're okay with, um, with, the, with the changes, you can select then the groups that are targeted with this application. Every application is targeting a specific group on Appaloosa. So you can have kind of access rights to applications. If uh, I select the Julian group here, the, Melan the users from the Melanie group here will not have access to this application. And you can change that per application and you can even change that per version of application. You could, so you can imagine scenarios where version one is available for the whole um, uh, store and version two is in preview and available to a selected group of testers, for instance. So I'm going to save this application. I'm going to get a prompt telling me that uh, uh, this application is requesting those permissions. And as an admin on the store, uh, I'm accepting the permissions on behalf of my users. 
And here you go, the application is now deployed um, um, and available to users. Um, the application is now on our store. Uh, so users, when they log into Appalooza, they can see this application within their app store. But of course, it's optional. They can download it if they want. But if you want to make it automated, you can um, make sure that here the application is installed automatically whenever the user is uh, first logged into Appalooza. So this option means that um, anytime you will get new users on the store, uh, anytime you will invite a new user, anytime you will have a new employee, this application is going to uh, be installed on the on the user's phone. And, and then this uh, application will be available from the list of uh, apps here <clears throat> that is growing, obviously. And uh, you can, you know, um, um, check the, the download stats. You can uh, change the, the store page. You can change how the application is deployed. You can selectively, and in a scheduled way, uh, change the groups uh, that are targeted with this application, and you can check the ratings from uh, your, your former users on, on this application. Last option is uh, that we do under the manage app scenario uh, uh, is provide manage configuration here. So see, we've um, added tunnel workspace one as uh, as an application on Appalooza. As soon as you've added this application, Appalooza is retrieving the configuration options for this application. So on private applications, it, it works the same way as on uh, uh, public applications. Uh, if the developer, if the app developer makes uh, a configuration available to uh, admins such as you uh, or EMM such as Appalooza, we import those um, configuration options and we um, expose them to, to admins. So this means that as an admin, you will be able to uh, customize the application when it is deployed to users. Uh, of course, depending on what uh, the application is supporting here, for instance, uh, we can, we can uh, customize the privacy policy link. We can hide um, uh, some of the UI components here. And Appalooza makes also uh, wildcards available so that you can pre-fill um, uh, some of the options with uh, 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 existing uh, data that we retrieve from users, such as email, first name, uh, last name, or, or full name. When you you will change the, the, the you save the changes, we will send the, the configuration uh, to all devices with tunnel installed. Uh, immediately uh, on, on the devices. So this is about uh, applications. So um, management is, is quite easy, but of course, if you don't want to uh, manage from a web interface, we have a lot of uh, integrations uh, that you can make use of. For instance, um, if you wanna uh, use Fastlane to post your applications, if you wanna uh, uh, use Bitrise to post your applications or Jenkins. We have a lot of integrations that allow you to 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 deploy to Appalooza without using our web interface. And finally, we have our REST API that allows for any action on Appalooza um, uh, regarding applications, users, and groups. Um, you can pretty much use anything on Appalooza with our API. And we've, um, so we have a lot of use cases with this and typically uh, integrating further into your IT systems, making sure that we integrate well with your continuous integration environments. So any application update can be posted directly to Appalooza without even using the, the web interface. Uh, but after that, in the web interface, you can selectively change the metadata and the apps uh, group targeting, et cetera. So this is really about uh, uh, applications. And then, as I mentioned, uh, we are targeting list of users here. Uh, so uh, this is the list of users that you can invite to your store. Of course, this is a demo environment, so you have a lot, not a lot of users, um, but you just invite users by inviting them. You mentioned the first name, last name, and email address. You define if they are admin in which group they are part of. And as soon as you invite the user, they will receive an email invite. And this email invite just uh, contains a link 
and this link gives them access to uh, to their, their applications. <clears throat> Once users are added to uh, the list, you can of course uh, see uh, their devices and see if uh, the devices are managed or unmanaged. So for instance, I have a couple of devices here and depending on the management capabilities that you've deployed to the, to, to, to the device, you can either wipe the device entirely or you can wipe in, uh, only the work applications that have been installed on the on the device. So this is the um, this is the way to control um, uh, uh, a device remotely. Uh, if a user leaves the company, a, a device gets lost or stolen, and you don't want to uh, have your app available on it uh, any longer. Um, those are the features that, that serve this pur purpose. Of course, if you delete a, a user entirely, all devices will be wiped according to the management level. So if I delete myself, Julian here, uh, all devices here will be wiped either only with work data or with the entire uh, device. So this is about uh, users, groups also. Um, uh, so we target a specific groups. Each version of app targets a specific groups. Um, and so um, every, every group contains uh, uh, any uh, amount of users that you want. You can uh, check the applications that are available to the group and you can define some settings such as here. Um, uh, for developer, uh, for the groups they con containing uh, app developers, we suggest to check this box to allow them to revert to a previous uh, app version. So for instance, an app developer can really have in Appalooza all his versions available and check out the 2.0 version and then roll back to 1.5 version on his phone. So it's really convenient for uh, app developers uh, to to hold back uh, and to to move further in the, in the in the in the versions we have lots of other features regarding for instance the the, um, the devices uh the stats uh, across your store telling you the the split between android and ios devices the last connections the os splits uh, and the uh, uh, form factors we have lots of settings as well but i'm it's it's too short of a call to uh, to um, to 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 show them all. Um, maybe we'll um, go to questions now. Um, just give me a, a second to check out the questions I received. Okay, so uh, do we support uh, iOS and Android? Yes, absolutely. We support iOS. Um, on um, whether you have, um, uh, whether, whether you're part of three programs, whether you're part of the Apple developer program, so you have access to uh, ad hoc certificates for beta testing mostly, or if you are a member of Apple enterprise developer program, which provides you with in-house certificates uh, to allow you to deploy to, um, to your company devices without the need to register for UDIDs in advance. And finally, we support uh, Apple Business Manager. Um, and if you are interested in to Apple Business Manager, and that, that was another question, do we support uh, Apple Business Manager? You can check uh, our dedicated section here in our guides on our website. We have um, a guide that is uh, called, uh, what is Apple Business Manager? And we have lots of content here. Uh, we discuss everything um, about the concept to the cost, to the implementation. Uh, so Apple Business Manager is quite new. We recently did a full webinar about this uh, topic. Um, so if you want to know more about uh, uh, which um, uh, systems we support on iOS, I suggest you to, to read this article and maybe another one uh here the complete guide to uh, private mobile app distribution on ios where uh, we have a table a chart table telling you exactly uh, which uh, distribution method to use depending on your use case and depending on your uh, code code signing capabilities uh, finally about android uh, so we support android as well uh, two different scenarios on android not three 
uh, there are only two, uh, either the unknown sources. So um, um, uh, users need to activate unknown sources into, in their settings to deploy the apps or Android Enterprise. Android Enterprise is really a robust system because uh, we are partner, we partners with Google and we can deploy apps using the Google Play services directly. So users don't need to activate unknown sources. We are an official source of distribution on Google devices. Uh, so we make use of, of course, Appalooza and the Google Play Store private. So if you're interested into this uh, solution on Android, I suggest uh, that you go to our Android Enterprise EMM um, uh, uh, section on our website for more information. I have another question about um, uh, 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 creating a public URL landing page for limited amount of time for users. This is not a use case we support. Um, we, we only support registered users in advance. So any user is not anonymous on Appalooza. You need, they need to be on the list of users. So they need to be registered here. But uh, regarding your question, there is a workaround. Obviously, if you want to do a public landing page with your uh, where users can register for the service, you can integrate with our API, and you can uh, make a form on the web a form that creates a user. And if you're using our API, so it means that you have a public landing page with a form. You, the the user enters his email. You create the the user with API and the user receives an invite to join Appalooza uh, and is listed under the, 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 the users. So you can perfectly do this kind of scenario. However, you know, Appalooza is mostly used in private distribution in enterprise um, um, uh, environments. If you're doing a public beta testing of your application, it's going to be super easy on Android. It's going to be a little bit more complex on iOS since you have um, a limit limitations in terms of technical capabilities and uh, number of users. And I can check, you, you need to check our, our guide about the, 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 if this is a problem for you, you can check our guide about uh, deploying private mobile apps on iOS where you have all the what's feasible, what's limited, uh, and the ways to, to, to deploy your application. OK, uh, we still have two minutes. If you still have uh, more questions, I'll uh, wait a little bit more. But thank you so much uh, for uh, participating today. Uh, my name is Julian. If you need to contact me, um, uh, my email is on the slide here. Uh, it's julian at appalooza.io. Uh, I'll be super happy uh, to continue the conversation uh, with you. Um, if you need to create an account, obviously we can do this together, configure it together, and of course, uh, discuss your use case further. But no more question. There was uh, three questions. Thank you so much already. And, um, and uh, hope to see you soon on Appalooza.